What happens if you don't show up for your restraining order hearing in Washington State? Are you interested in that subject? Do you have a restraining order hearing coming up and you don't want to deal with it or you'd rather not? Well, if that's your situation, this is the video for you. So stay tuned. My name is attorney Lance Fryer. I'm a defense attorney in Linwood, Washington. My law firm has been defending people charged with crimes all throughout Washington state for more than 20 years and we handle a whole lot of restraining orders. And so oftentimes we get people calling us. We probably get 15 different inquiries a week about restraining orders. And a common question is, do I have to go to the restraining order hearing? If you're the respondent, that means you got served with a piece of paper that said, hey, there's an order against you or there's a hearing about that. And you're to show up usually in about two weeks or less than two weeks at a certain time and place, a courthouse or nowadays during coronavirus by Zoom. And you wonder, do I have to go? And so the answer is, no, you don't have to go. But if you don't go, then the petitioner is going to get the relief that he or she asked for. The reason why a hearing has been set is to give you a chance to fight about the relief, the order against you that the petitioner wants. And if you choose not to fight, well, because it's a civil matter and not a criminal matter, um, then the petitioner will get his or her relief. They'll get the order uh, that they wanted against you. Well, won't I get a warrant if I don't show up for this hearing? Well, if it's a civil restraining order, and uh, in Washington State they're called protection orders, but if it's a civil order and you don't appear, um, then uh, there's no warrant because there's never a crime alleged. Now, be careful. If there's a weapon surrender hearing you're supposed to go to, you need to show up for that one you, because that's between the court and you to prove you don't have weapons. So um, we, we've recently put out a video on weapon surrender hearings and uh, we'll link to it here, but it's going to be really important that you don't miss that hearing. So no, you don't have to go, but if you don't go, there's a consequence that the petitioner will get whatever he or she wants. So what if you're the petitioner in a restraining order hearing? You got a temporary order, there's a hearing in two weeks. What if you don't go to the hearing? Well, if you don't go to the hearing because it's you that initiated the case and it's you that's prosecuting the order, so to speak, you're asking for it, right? If you don't show up, then the court will just dismiss your petition and your temporary order will no longer exist. So if you're planning to not want to go forward and you don't want the court to continue on, the safest way to make that happen is just not to show up. Um, but uh, realize that if you don't show up, if you forget to uh, or uh, you just don't make it, well then your order's gonna get dismissed. You'll probably be able to re refile it. It depends how many times this has happened. But if you don't show up as the petitioner, then your order is going to get dismissed. So what's the downside, Lance? I don't care if the petitioner has the order. You're the respondent. You got served. I don't want to see uh, her. I don't want to see him anymore. So what's the downside? Well, if the petitioner gets an order against you, they can have you arrested just by claiming you violated it, right? Truth doesn't really matter anymore anywhere, right? What's true? There's one side versus another. So if an order is against you, even though you never plan to see him again, you're a woman who has an order against you and you never plan to see your ex-boyfriend again, if you just let that order be put in place, he can just call the police and say he saw you. And if they believe him, you're getting arrested and charged with a crime. And now we've got a nightmare. Um, another thing that can happen if you just don't show up is the petitioner might ask for even more than they originally did. Now, in my opinion, the court shouldn't grant anything more than what they originally asked for. But let me tell you, courts do what they want, right? A judge would say, yeah, well, you only asked for one year. I'm going to give you five. And if you were never there to fight about that, they get their five years. Or, hey, I want to add a provision in that keeps uh, the respondent away from a certain dog park where you go all the time or whatever, or from a certain school. And if you're not there to contest it, they can just get what they want. So it is risky to not show um, we believe a court should only grant what was in the temporary request, okay? Um, however, again, courts do what they want. The judges, they run their own kingdom. Uh, he or she as judge can do whatever, whatever they want. And so 
you really uh, should think about going to the hearing or getting an attorney at the very least to go to the hearing because in these civil matters, you're allowed to appear through an attorney. In criminal cases, you need to go to, unless there's a certain waiver of attendances that are happening here during COVID and coronavirus time, but you can have an attorney go on your behalf if it's too stressful, uh, because let's face it, it's traumatic when you have to face one of these situations. So do you have to respond? Do you have to go to the restraining order and hearing? No, but you probably should, all right? So if you found this helpful, uh, please feel free to like and subscribe. More people will get to see this and get the help they need. And if you're in a restraining order situation, you're needing one, you wanna fight one, feel free to give my office a call. We can only take a certain handful of them because they're very difficult to fight. But if we get on board, we're going to do everything we can. We're going to hear your side of the story. We're going to try to get your response out in a way that makes sense. And we're going to be there for you. Thank you.